Uh, you're right, guys, Till from TH Trees. So I'll do a video about uh, how to check if tree surgeons properly qualified or fully qualified, because you'll always see tree surgeons advertising uh, fully qualified on Facebook posts, social media, their advertising and all sorts of things like that. Now that's very misleading, because that would make you think that your tree surgeon is fully qualified, obviously. Um, what most tree surgeons, I would say probably 80% of the tree surgeons who advertise that actually have, is they have some of the basic tickets. The basic tickets are um, small felling, chainsaw maintenance, aerial tree rescue, and cutting from a rope, a chain, cut, using a chainsaw from a rope and harness. Sorry, uh, that isn't fully qualified, but that's what 80% of the people that have their tickets are saying. They're saying they're fully qualified. Um, unfortunately, that's only part qualified. To be fully qualified, you need to have the additional large tree felling certificate, the aerial tree dismantling certificate. Those extra two certificates. You could then say you're fully qualified for 90%, 99% almost of um, the work that tree surgeons undertake in the UK. In addition to those, I would say you still need to have your stump removal or stump grinding certificate and your wood chipping certificate um, to consider yourself a fully qualified tree surgeon because we have to use wood chippers and stump grinders every day. So the additional tickets that you want to check your tree surgeon has, has is large tree felling certificate, CS301, um, aerial tree dismantling CS309 and wood chipper and stump grinder certificates they can be Lantra or they can be MPTC um, you know it's a straightforward simple ticket in addition to that there are some other tickets if you're doing storm damage work and things like that but most insurance companies do not request them so therefore you do not need those certificates as far as I'm aware to consider yourself fully qualified um, we're in the process of doing all of the, all additional tickets um, just because we like doing them to be fair and it's nice to have more strings to your bow. Um, but to be a fully qualified tree surgeon, especially in my eyes at least, you need um, your, your four main tickets, small felling, chainsaw maintenance, operating a chainsaw from a rope and harness and aerial tree rescue. And then obviously the additional tickets are your large tree felling, your aerial tree dismantling, um, utility guys will get the CS for uh, what's it called CS40, which is tree pruning. Um, but as my training instructors told me myself, it, the CS39 and the CS41 cover tree pruning, so that it's, it's, it's like a redundant ticket. But um, for utility guys, they're the only ones that seem to have that certificate. So if you're doing utility work, then you probably will need that one. Um, other than that, uh, well, there's you know you can do tickets for like uh, hedge trimming and things like that using a pole pruner, but I I can't really see the justification in that. I can understand big companies just throwing people for it for the sake of spending money, um, but if someone can injure himself with a pole saw, they're pretty talented. Anyway, hopefully that's been informative. Thanks for watching. Bye.